Welcome to Mark D. Maker. My name's Mark Taylor, and let's get right to it. So in this video, we're going to be carving the spoon. But the actual carving the spoon isn't what the video is about. The video will be about reviewing this knife set. This knife set has this straight blade, kind of like a, what's called a sloyd knife, a hooked knife for spoon carving, a more detailed knife. Tell me that don't look like a flex cut style design. A leather strop, leather strop compound, a cut resistant glove. This whole kit was under $18. It was $17 and some change on uh, Amazon and eBay. On both of them, they had the same kit. That's incredible. Uh, a knife like this would normally cost you uh, twenty dollars, nineteen, twenty dollars, and and they come pretty sharp. I have uh, used strop on them. I've stropped all of these, and uh, and we're going to use it. This is cherry wood. This is this is called the blank. When it's already cut out like that, that's called the blank. So we're going to, I'm going to put on my glove, because, like I say, I've never carved a spoon before. This is a first for me, but I am experienced at carving. So we'll be taking a look at, at these knives and see exactly what they're all about. Huh, nice. This wood's very dry, but this cuts right through it, not a problem. Yeah. see this has one one sharp side sometimes these are double double bladed they kind of scare me a little bit I, I I prefer the one side being sharp so if you have it uh, you can you can choke up on it you can even put your hand or finger behind it you want this thumb down low because you definitely don't want this blade gouging you. Now, when you're using this blade, you want to go cross grain. So this would be cross grain versus carving with the grain with a, a straight blade. I started going against the grain there. I started carving uh, uphill you can see the, the how this goes up it's always best to carve downhill or towards the valley if to simplify it a little bit I'll take out that little saw there's a little saw cut in there but yeah nothing wrong with these knives eh They'll carve. So all in all, this little kit, I would say, is a pretty good buy. Just sometimes a little strop with the compound alone 
will cost 15 bucks or so and you get all of this with the glove for a little more than 17 that is a phenomenal buy I've never done this before, but I've heard of people doing this. I'm going to give it a try. I'm going to put some water on the wood. They say it. Some carvers that do this say that it does make it easier to carve. I've never tried it. But I'm about to. Hey, if I can learn a new trick, I'm all about it. That looks like it's pretty saturated. Yeah, well, it helps a little bit. This almost feels like it's a, a left hand blade because I want to go that way with it. And this is the sharp edge. I wonder if these come in right or left. Interesting. This is really hard. I've had this piece of wood for several years. <clears throat> um, in spoon carving, if you carve while it's green, it's so much easier. Honestly, think if I if I'm gonna carve dry wood, dry hardwood like this, I would use chisels. Um, I'm sure that if the wood was still green, this would really just go right through it. But as it is, <clears throat> that cherry is pretty hard. So that's just a quick little review on the knife carving set. They do give you the green, the green compound, which is what I prefer. I like that green compound. It's, it's designed for metal. And I put it on both sides. This side's much smoother than this side has more uh, grain to it, more tooth. Well, I hope you like this video. Please like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.